Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I am your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for live updates of the games and, of course, breaking news as well. Please check out the Best of Seven podcast. We upload videos and podcast episodes every single week. Uh, we're available on all major streaming platforms, and all podcast episodes are uploaded here to YouTube for you to watch. Of course, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, uh, Google Play, uh, all those podcasts. Uh, platforms you can listen to the podcast i'd really appreciate the support you're giving me so much great support here i'd really appreciate you giving me support there now ladies and gentlemen this is the video i've been waiting to do uh graham nichols uh, commented on this a lot a few days ago saying that it's the worst kept secret it's back the 2d jersey is back look at this be right there stupid camera where is it right here Look at this beautiful logo, one of the most sexy, beautiful logos in NHL history. And the Sounders, for the first time in quite a long time, they're bringing it back and they're doing the right thing. I spoke on Brand Mackey's um, podcast, which was uploaded today. Make sure to check it out, Internal Budget. Uh, so I com we spoke about it, and this is a great move for the Sounders because the last few years have been nothing but hell for Sens fans. And bringing this jersey back brings a sense of pride for Sens fans. This jersey represents... The golden era of Sanders history where we went to the cup final, where we were dominating in the regular season, President Trophy wins, uh, conference final runs, you know. This logo assembles the, the prime of the Ottawa Sanders. Great success in Sanders history all happened in this jersey except 2017. So the nostalgia that this jersey will bring back will bring a good connection between the Sanders organization and its fan base, which is very much needed. Um... And especially today with what's going on with Melnick and, of course, the Carlson trade and all the trades that happened. The disconnect, there's a huge disconnection. I think this is the first step to bring that connection back because this is whew, beautiful. Now, I'm going to read you the Kyle Bukowskis tweet. Uh, producer Laddie pulled that tweet up on the screen. Uh, further to Haley Salvian's reporting, which, by the way, she's been great on this and she broke the news. Uh, so further from Haley Salvian's report on the Sens rebranding, a source told uh, Kyle Bukowskis the New Jersey's will look almost 100% like the 2D era one, so similar to this. The original plan was to unveil them at the draft this year, but then the pandemic hit, so they're still determining the new date, uh, he's told. So great news for Sens fans. Uh, I'm wearing my uh, O logo because... In the athletic report, it's very likely the Sanders are going to have a third jersey, which will be red. And I, in my opinion, we spoke about this on internal budget with Brandon Mackey. Uh, it's been speculated, and I believe that that third jersey, the red one, will be the Centennial Classic third jersey O for the Ottawa Sanders. And that will, oof, the Sanders are suddenly going to go from one of the worst jersey um, combos in NHL to t one of the top. It's just a quick, simple switch, and I'm so happy. Like I said previously, the nostalgia that this will bring back will be great news. And I'll throw up uh, producer Laddie, throw up that first picture with a Bolanin from Everyday Sense. Check them out on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, kudos to them for making this edit. But I like this edit. They got that white stripe where the just where the shoulder is uh, with the numbers. I think it's classic. It gives a little bit of a mo more modern take to the original 2D concept. Uh, and of course, it looks really crisp. The black looks really nice. The white's nice, and the red. It's just oh. I can't wait to buy that Kachuk jersey. Now, uh, we're, let's take a look at this white jersey. Throw out the next picture there, uh, producer Laddie. You got the black and white concepts. That's very likely to be what it's going to be like, uh, according to Athletic, Haley Sullivan, and everyone on the Athletic. Those, this concept right now on the screen is very likely what the concept is going to be like. I prefer the Everyday Sends one, where it's a white stripe, but I can't complain. All these jerseys are beautiful. And, um, like, right now, you can take a look at this white one. Tell me this... Ooh. Now, this is obviously not... You know, it's not like, it doesn't have the logo. This is more like a, a mock one, but tell me how beautiful this one looks. Like, come on, come on. Tell me you can't walk around the city wherever you are and just rock this jersey and just be proud of what you're wearing. This is a beautiful logo. It's a beautiful jersey. Just imagine just Brady Kachuk sniping goals left, right, and center. Thomas Shabbat shooting bombs from the point. Ooh, baby. The Sanders are about to look hell of a lot sexier and on top of that for better words or for better words sexier and on top of that the fan base is getting a, a a win the organization is finally listening to the fan base and giving them what we want and these jerseys i don't think anyone can disagree look at that look at that look at that come on come on if you don't like these jerseys i i have some questions for um what jerseys you like if you don't like these jerseys i'm sure uh, what's an ugly jersey Ooh. I'm sure you like. Uh, I'm sure you like the current Sens jerseys. If you don't like these, and you you must like uh, the current ones. And the only reason you don't like these ones is because you you're on Team O. You want 
stu this stupid cameraman. It's because you want this this one. Now I understand why you would want it. By the way, that's me right there. I now I understand why you would want these ones. I understand it. Um, but with the black being the primary jersey now, there's very likely, like I already said or reported, that the Centennial Classic one will be the third jersey. Melnick seems to be a fan of it. The players and fans seem to love it. So, uh, in my opinion and prediction, it's going to be this is the white one, the black one, like you just saw on the screen previously, and then it'll be the Centennial Classic third jersey. Giordano, uh, producer, throw that picture up real quick for the third jersey Centennial Classic one. Um, but yeah, uh, so, so excited. So excited. Oh my god, man. It's It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. It started off with go with the O, get that, to get the O back. And I, over the last couple years, um, the 2D, this camera, man, the 2D, uh, has really come back and made a huge comeback and it's completed. The comeback has been completed and we're getting what we want. And I think that all stems back to nostalgia and, um, I, like I said previously, this, this logo gives us a sense of pride. So, um... There's not much more to talk about on this. Um, you know, I'm glad to make the Sense Talk video. Finally, some Sense news. Um, but, you know, definitely going to keep you updated on this. Be sure to check out the Twitter, at Sense Talk underscore. I'll keep you updated there for sure. Um, but, yeah, this is... Oh, I was working out at a, a gym uh, as this news dropped. I told all my friends and we got hyped because uh, this is... This is... This is this just puts a smile on my face. Uh, I can't wait to buy my Brady Kachuk jersey, the black one, the white one. Maybe Shabbat white, Brady, uh, Brady Kachuk black one, I don't know. But, whew, so pumped up for this. Um, it's been a long time coming. And uh, comment below what you think about the jersey or brand rebrand. So, besides that, let's wrap it up. So, be sure to check us out on uh, the Best of 7 podcast. Be sure to check us out on all our streaming platforms on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Google, uh, not Google, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, SoundCloud, of course, here on YouTube. All podcast episodes uploaded fully on here on SenseTalk. Of course, check out the SenseTalk podcast on in Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Facebook at SenseTalk Podcast is the at. Check out my personal Twitter at SenseTalk underscore. Now be sure to share this video where, wherever you share cool stuff. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to us, click that big red and make it red button and make it gray. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're not pumped, it's time to get pumped because this is a great rebrand and it's been a long time coming. And um, you know, be sure to comment below what you think about this rebrand. And uh, the, the next Best of 7 podcast episode should be up in the next few days. So stay tuned for that. But besides that, thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. I love you all. Be safe during the scary pandemic. And, um, you know, uh, a lot. some of you may be asking why I'm not touching about Deshaun Jackson's comments. Uh, I'm sure right now it will be popping up on the screen. Uh, I already had a comment on that. Make sure to check out the internal budget. I also continue to speak about the anti-Semitic issue uh, in the world today. I also spoke about um, Deshaun Jackson and how he's trying to right his wrong and educate himself. And I spoke about other issues. So be sure to check out the internal budget. Be sure to check out the Best of Seven podcast. I appreciate the support. And I love making this video. I'm so happy to be making Sense Talk videos again. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Go Sense Go.